Here we are with famed creator Sergio Arganis. Yes. How are you doing today? Very, very good. Very good. Recently, uh, you made it uh, onto Futurama. That's right. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I've been very fortunate that I've been asked to write and draw for The Simpsons and uh, be now a very proud part of the family. They, they asked me to be on the show and I, that was terrific. Uh, it wasn't me, it was my head and somebody ripped off my mustache in it, but it was a very funny episode. And it was my voice I had to uh, to do my, myself. It was very clever. My wife, of course, says, you don't sound like that, but I do sound like that, no matter what. You know. But uh, it was terrific. It was fun. Thank you. And how about your history with Mad Magazine? We take that back a long way. This is uh, 1962. And that's really uh, solidified you as one of the greats in the industry. And you've got your own comic book, Guru. Yes. Um, which one do you feel is you know more more close to home to you? Well, uh, Mad was my first uh, opportunity to work in the United States, and, and and I have a great great love for Mad. But Gru is like my son. You know, I created a character. I have worked with him since 1983, even though I had planned to do him from the 70s. You know, so. So I have a, a, a very special love for, for, for Guru, and very much so. And uh, Davison was very appreciative of the last clip we had. Uh, you aired on our show. Uh, it was very good. And uh, we know that you uh, were concerned that he doesn't live closer to you so the two of you could hang out. Well, that's, that's the thing. You know, there's friends that you like a lot, that through the years you develop a friendship, and then you don't have the chance to see them because of the distance, geographical distance. Yeah. And it becomes sad, you know. Uh, so, and uh, he doesn't do that much conventions as he used to. Zero. And so I don't have that much chance to see him. But, uh, well, if there's anything that, you would, uh, anything that you would like to say to him because of the distance. Well, that, uh, again, that I wish he was closer. So we can sit down, have a beer, coffee, and chat. And, and that's all friends do, you know. And, we start putting in order what we're doing, find out how he's doing, and I guess the older we get, the first question is about how's your health. <laughs> but after we go in and uh, talk about the industry, the states of the industry, and there's great things to talk about, you know, but things that friends talk, talk about. Sergio, we really appreciate your time. Thank you very much.